Hi, my name is Charles Espinal. I'm 23. I'm from Salem, Mass, and I train here in Lynn at a private Jewish fitness. Uh, a little bit about my boxing background is uh, I've been boxing for nine years. I've trained in gyms like uh, West End Gym in Lowell out of Mickey Ward. I've trained out of Haverhill. I've trained out of Peabody. Hi, um, my name is Daniel Marte, and um, I go to Kip, and I'm 12 years old, and I'm a boxer at Private Juice Fitness. What, what it made me learn was discipline and hard work. I just keep on hard, um, working hard and stuff, and just like trying to get motivated and stuff. What coaches say to me is like, oh, keep on going, you got this, you got this. And then like, they motivate me to keep on trying harder. So like, if I'm tired, they like, more, um, like, talk to me like, oh, you can be, um, you can, you can win, you can do it, and then just not, to not give up. You know, the kids are the ones that need to get to their next level. So our job as coaches is to facilitate them to get there. You know, the safety, you know, making sure that their dreams are getting met because, you know, the kid could work hard, but he's also a coach. I have to work hard along with them. Because if a kid is going 100 miles per hour, a coach better be going 150. Um, yeah, getting these kids, you know, prepared for the Olympics, um, you know, obviously we're stepping it up a notch. Um, but, you know, our, our motto is right there on the beam. Um, it's, um, you know, you train, you know, you train, you fight, and you win. So to me, um, you know, the real work is, 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 and the fight is always won inside the gym, day in and day out. The kid could go as much as the club could go. So, you know, you have to just give it 100% with these kids along with them. Show them that you care, show them that their progress means something, not just for themselves, but for their future and everybody around, because they're just becoming role models. One thing is um, that I can use them both is self-defense, and another is my goal in boxing is to like become a champ like like Mayweather and like Muhammad Ali and stuff. And for us to train and trying to get into the Olympics and have that chance is just it's awesome. And I love fighting in that national explosion. I love the 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 thought of representing this part of Massachusetts. Well, the beautiful thing is the diversity. That's one thing that why I love my city, a great city of land, because of the great diversity that we have in boxing. It's huge diversity. We got people that they fighting from Mexico, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Ireland, Canada. I'm so grateful that Alex and uh, you know was able to, to give me his facility and, and allow me to to grow in the sport of boxing. Um, how it came to, I, I won the Golden Glove Championship, and then after that, I started seeing you know these kids coming into the gym that. You know, um, basically, we're coming in through the same situation that I was. Um, you know, they didn't have a lot of guidance. They were coming on, coming in off of the street. So um, it was, it was a privilege for me to be able to take these kids um, and hone their skills, help them to hone their skills, and you know, become great fighters. Um, and obviously, you know, get them off the street, get them out of these gangs, get, you know, make them, uh, you know, give them something to do that was productive and that could build their self-esteem, so that they could have an outlet to, um, to use. It's not the problem is when they're in the gym, it's when they leave the gym. Um, you know, the outside struggles, you know, the energy out there, negative energy that are always tempting these kids to just, you know, get off their the way to reach their goals. But these kids still come here after all the problems that things going on, say, hey, and just give it 100%. But it's all about how bad you want it. And the, well, the, the more you want it, the harder you're willing to work. And we work really hard in this gym, especially with this heat. Push yourself, you know, and, and, and trust the process because it's not going to be easy. You know, at the end of the day, it, it, it's just a relationship that all the coaches here, it's not just me because it's legit, this is a family. It's not just me and I'm not going to take all the glory for myself. It's my staff, my team, especially my team, my coaches, kids helping each other here. You know, they just, we work together, combined as one that is just works like peanut butter and jelly. This is all for great sports for one cause, you know, so everybody to get there, we all need to work together. Teamwork, we made the dream work. That's how we do it.